So I hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to look at all of this that's laying on the table here. Uh, it looks random at the moment, but this is going to be the first video from our How to Tint series where we're going to kind of go in depth on how to tint your windows. There's a lot of videos out there right now that explain tint and how to do it, but I don't think any of them explain it in depth the way I want to do it and just show you so that whenever you did, I'm watching this video or the, the series of videos that you can go out and tint your vehicle with no problems. So the first thing we're going to look at is all the tools that you're going to need to do it. This is going to be from the back glass to the doors, the quarters, to everything to tint a car, just your average car, whatever it may be, this is going to be the tools you're going to need. First thing we're going to start with is a tape measure. You're going to need that to measure out your film on what size on the doors and the brow and stuff like that that you're going to need. Next you're going to need a spray bottle of some kind. You're going to want to fill it up with water, preferably distilled water or purified water. You don't want to use tap water. It's really nasty and dirty. It leaves a lot of trash in the window. When you fill this bottle up, you want to use a couple of drops of uh, some kind of shampoo, dishwashing liquid, things like that. We've found that Johnson Baby Shampoo works the best. You're going to want to have a knife with a stainless steel blade. If you use a carbon blade, it will scratch the windows up. So you want to make sure that your knife blade is stainless. It will say it somewhere on the blade, usually at the bottom. You're going to want to have a squeegee of some kind. Uh, Dylan likes to use this one. That's why his name is on it. He likes to use that on everything he does. I prefer the side swap to get all the water out of the doors, your basic squeegee for your seals and the water around the edges. You want some kind of hard card. I like this little gold card. Dylan uses the uh, triangle card here that's really good for your quarter glasses as well because you can get up in the tight corners with the tip of that. Push the water out really nice. When you're tinting the doors, sometimes you'll end up, whenever you pull the tint back, you'll end up in a little spot on the side here where it creases up on um, either of these sides. When you get that, you want to put a lot of heat on it. This little pink card does great for getting that out and making it lay down flat. When you're shrinking the fingers, which is the little spots that come up on your doors and mostly your back glass, when you're shrinking that out to the shape of the door so you don't have it when you install the tent, you're going to want some kind of card with felt on it or hide to be able to push and glide across the film without creasing it. For your back glasses, you're going to want to use a squeegee like this. You can use this, but it's a little more difficult to use. But you want something like this that you can get the bulk of it with. When you get down into the bottom where you can't reach, a tool like this, which is our bulldozer, works well for pushing out in those hard to reach places. And if you get a spot down at the bottom that won't go away, maybe you didn't shrink it enough, a finger comes up, it's good to put heat on it and then use this to put a little more pressure than what the bulldozer can give. Now it's not required, but I like to keep an apron just to put all my tools in so it's right there, you can use it. Uh, that's just a little Walmart brand apron that's supposed to be used for hammers and stuff, but it works well for what I use it for. The last thing I think you should need as far as the essentials go would be a heat gun. And you're going to want that. It doesn't have to be this brand. I think this one's uh, Warrior. But any kind of heat gun will work for your back glass and your doors, getting the fingers out and getting them to the shape so that when you apply it, it's not wrinkled up and have marks in it, stuff like that. That's going to be the essentials for getting your windows tinted and tinting the windows the correct way. Uh, the next videos will be showing you how to remove. We're going to use the Subaru. We're going to remove the tent, show you the best way to do that. And then uh, we'll retin them and that'll be a separate video on its own. If you enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like and subscribe, comment what you want to see, and until next time, be great.